Hello, good morning, children. As you can see, my first slide is future simple versus future continuous tense. So, children, today we are going to learn about simple future tense and future continuous tense. Children, in our day-to-day -day life, most of the times we use this word future. Like teachers or parents or your elders or your relatives may ask you, what do you want to become in future? What are your plans for future? We give blessings also. All the best for your future. Have a bright future. When you're going for exam, we say all the best. So children, what does this mean? Future. The time which is going to come. Or the time which has not come yet. But we think about them. We make plans for the future. Fine. So today we are going to learn about the same. So let's start. First, we should learn what is simple future tense. So the simple future tense indicates an action that will happen in the future. Children, we have not seen our future. Okay, we have not seen our future, but what can we do to make it good or bright? Okay, or happy. How can we make our future happy? By working hard now in a present. Okay, because we have not seen our future. But we can try to make it good. The future tense is formed by using the helping verb like will or shall with the base form of the verb. See children here, shall we use with first person and that also with I and we only. And will can be used with any of noun or pronoun, okay? Let's see more. Let's see the examples now. The dog will bark at the mailman. So we can assume here that, suppose uh, I have a dog at my home and whenever any stranger comes, the dog starts barking. So I'm assuming that the dog will bark at the mailman when the mailman or postman or any stranger person will come. What will happen? The, start, the dog will bark at him. I will clean my room. Suppose today I have exam, I'm very busy, my room is messy, okay, it's very dirty. So what will I say to my mother? Let my exam get over, then I will clean my room. So I will do this in my future, maybe tomorrow, maybe day after tomorrow, maybe after three days or four days. So children, future can be any time. Maybe after 10 minutes, maybe after one day, two day, one week, one year, okay. Future means... The time which has not come or which is going to come. And the last one is I will fold my laundry. <clears throat> now what are the rules for simple future tense children? See first one. Will be. When you are using helping verb like be. So you can say I will be a teacher. Like I am doing be it now. So I will be a teacher after two years. Now, they will be a student. Many kids are of one or two years. Okay, after when they will be three years, they will be a student in a school. Okay, when you are not using helping verb, what will you do? Will and first form of verb children. Like, I will teach English. They will teach English. Okay, what you have to do? Only you have to add will plus first form of verb. Or you can say root form of verb. Now, simple future tense. Let's see how to change affirmative sentence into negative and interrogative sentence. So first it's written plus sign. Can you see here plus sign children? So plus sign means affirmative or positive sentence. Okay. Like first we have to write subject plus will or shall. I already told you shall we can use with I or V. And plus verb. Verb which verb? Base form. Root form of verb. Like I can say I can write I will go to Thailand. So, will, see, I is subject, then I have used will. I can also use shall because I is here. And go is root form of verb or the base form. Okay, and the rest is object. Now, in negative sentence, what you have to do? Yes, we know in negative sentence, we use not. So, same thing you have to do. <clears throat> like uh, affirmative sentence, only you have to add not. 
so first we will write subject plus will not or you can contract it there can be a contraction like we write, we can write won't instead of will not right plus v again base form of verb or root form of verb so what will i write i will not go to thailand and the last one is can you see here question mark it means interrogative sentence so again what you have to do first you have to write will like i have already told you in simple present tense and simple past tense that first you have to write the question word like in simple present tense we were writing do for plural noun or pronoun and does for singular noun or pronoun and in the simple past tense we were using did whether it is singular or plural in the same way in simple future tense we have to use will plus subject and plus root form of verb and then you can write to the rest of the sentence okay so so what we will write now will you go to thailand so children we can see more examples here just check it here like positive sentences my mother will retire next year okay so maybe she is 59 years old and next year she will be 60 years old so she will retire in negative sentence see another sentence is given here he will not play basketball but how to change this sentence children like my mother will retire next year only you have to add not my mother will not retire next year and what is the question will your mother retire next year only you have to exchange will okay next word is i will call him as soon as possible so what can we write in negative sentence only you have to add not i will not call him as soon as possible see here in question sentence it's written will he play basketball okay so this is another sentence fine let's change this into interrogative will i call him as soon as possible okay next one is we will overcome the problems so change into negative we will not overcome the problems and what can be the interrogative sentence will we overcome the problems and question mark next one is we will leave the house negative sentence we will we will not leave the house or you can also write we won't leave the house and how will you write in interrogative will we leave the house last one is he will try to contact us next week so only you have to add not to make it negative so we will write he will not try to contact us next week and how should we write in interrogative sentence children just exchange will and he will he try to contact us next week in question mark it is very simple children now we are going to learn future continuous tense so what is the form like uh, in simple future tense we were writing will and base form of verb or root form of verb here what can we do children we have to write will be okay add be in will and add ing in verb simple so what is the form will be plus verb plus ing and what is the use of future continuous tense children it is used to say that an action will be in progress at a certain time in the future okay like see example we will understand this with the help of example this time to tomorrow suppose now it is 12 o'clock assume it okay like it is 12 o'clock now 12 pm so at 12 pm tomorrow what will you do okay what will you be doing so you can say this time tomorrow i will be lying on the beach in the sun maybe you are going for a vacation and uh, children when we go for a vacation suppose we are going to a train or a plane okay so we say at this moment i would be doing this you make plans with your siblings or friends or your parents so in the same way it's written this time tomorrow i will be lying on the beach in the sun children can you see here will plus b plus verb plus ing is written here so it is future continuous tense next example don't phone me between 7 and 8 why because as will be we will be having dinner then and last one is it is a question interrogative sentence children what will you be doing tomorrow at 12 pm obviously 12 pm we will not ask about midnight 12 am okay so very politely a person is asking what will you be doing tomorrow at 12 pm 
<coughs> let's see the rules <coughs> rules for future continuous tense children for singular we have to write will be plus ing and in plural also so what happened in both the cases we have to use will be only and its a verb is hidden here because we have to write verb children will be plus verb plus ing in both so in future continuous let's see the example i will be staying here until sunday can you see here will be plus verb plus ing in the same way the post when will be coming soon we are talking about the future continuous tense continuous itself means you have to put ing children so again let's see positive sentence means affirmative sentence negative sentence and interrogative sentence so first one you have to write subject plus will be plus verb plus ing so i will be singing in the concert tomorrow children see here i is subject will be you have to add plus sing is verb and ing you have to add so i will be singing in the concert tomorrow now changing to negative only you have to write not that's all so i will not be singing in the concert tomorrow so yes children here you have to take care that where you have to write not after will after helping verb okay the last one is obviously will we have to write it first because it is interrogative sentence so will you be singing in the concert tomorrow children in negative and interrogative sentences you have to take care we have you have to take care where to write the correct words let's see example future continuous tense first we will write read about positive sentence it will be raining at this tomorrow so how can you write in negative it will not be raining at this time tomorrow you only have to add not and how will you write in question sentence will it be raining at this time tomorrow okay see here uh, it's uh, written it he will not be visiting his friends this time next week okay now here positive sentence see the second one he will be visiting his friends this time next week okay first one is missing here but second time second thing is written here he will not be visiting his friends this time next week and how will you change into interrogative will he be visiting his friends this time next week now third one she will be watching tv please change into negative she will not be watching tv and how will you write in interrogative sentence will she be watching tv and then question mark next one this time tomorrow we will be working on a project so how will you change into negative this time tomorrow we will not be working on a project and how will you change into interrogative this time tomorrow will we be working on a project see children you may ask question that ma'am it's uh, started with this time tomorrow because this is the main thing we cannot leave here children so we have started after this the question sentence that is will and the last one is they will be writing letter to each other how will you change into negative they will not be writing letter to each other and interrogative will they be writing letter to each other children i am giving you so many examples because you can better understand the chapter okay and you will not face any problem while doing book exercise so i hope children it is very clear what is simple future tense and future continuous tense i have given various examples okay all of you read the chapter thoroughly and try to do the book work in our next video we will check the answers that's all for today children thank you